few of the classes I teach. I teach a lot of classes. Um, one is existentialism, philosophy 304, and it's fairly popular. And in that class, students, students do the heavy lifting and we wrestle with big questions, meaning of life, what's the meaning of meaning, um, is life worth living, uh, problems or rewards of consciousness uh, and the anxiety that might give. Many people might not see that as a problem, that we're conscious and can think of things that aren't the case. Um, suicide, death, meaning of life, uh, existence, uh, the fragility of life, you know, just light topics. <laughs> um, yeah, and in the course ends with to what extent can we take hold of our lives and live in a way that's flourishing, where we take our passions and emotions extremely seriously, unlike uh, the history of at least Western philosophy. Another course I teach for majors is Philosophy 300, Argumentation and Exposition. And that's the, I think it's a keystone course in our program, which, which is designed for those students that have had enough philosophy to be dangerous, but would like more philosophy to be disciplined, taking it at that next level where we look into the gold standards for argumentation, and then students pick from among what they would like in contemporary publications. And my students hold uh, the feet of these professional philosophers at these awesome publications to the standards we learn. And it turns out that uh, their arguments aren't so good when, the, when my students are scrutinizing them. And it's deeply rewarding to see students grow and what they do with it both here at university and beyond.